Okay. Hello, Sean. Yes. Well, here we go. We're going to get into some things both first and second life. I'm going to see how many of you know if you can match these up with familiar religious traditions. Is that your sound effect for that? or <laughs> with something, Somebody's exactly. cell phone. Now, oh now I'm going to tell you the answers are one of the following, okay? You can have... Uh, you can call it out. It's either they're evangelical, Bible-believing Christianity, Catholic Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Scientology, Mormonism, Christian Science, or Jehovah Witnesses. And here comes the first one. This is it. Let's see if you can get it. In this particular religion, okay, the foreskin of a holy one may lie safeguarded in relic reliquaries made of gold and crystal and inlaid with gems, or it may have ascended into heaven all by itself. Okay, uh, let's see if you, do like you know which one that Catholic. is. What? Islam. Crazy. No, Catholic. no, they don't do that. I uh, I'm going to tell I you something. Catholic. That we've got Haley's got it right. It's the Catholic. Oh, okay? I knew it. <laughs> all right, number two. A race of giants once roamed the earth, the result of women and demigods inbreeding. They lived at the same time as the fire-breathing dra dragons. And I'm going to give you the answer to this, is that there are two religions that actually believe in this. Let's see if you can get it. White Queen put one up. White what did Queen she put, put up? up? Scientology. Scientology. Uh, I didn't say that was one of the answers that you can have, but you go ahead and put that up. Anybody else? Okay. All right. This one you'll enjoy. This was evangelicals and or Mormons, Okay. I'm gonna go Number with three, evil spirits can take control of pigs. Uh, <laughs> Christianity is actually a New Testament story. Yeah, really? slowly but surely you'll give up religion when this is over. This, these are evangelicals, exactly. Thank you, think it was evangelicals. That's what happened to him. Number four actually is believed by two groups, okay? A talking donkey scolded a prophet. Judaism. That's one, yep. And and evangelicals, once again, they've got a real run on this stuff, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, here's one. A righteous man can control his wife's access to eternal paradise. And if you get this wrong, you're out of here. Those are the Mormons. Uh, those are the Mormons. Uh, very good, exactly. Okay. Also, uh, probably the Muslims could do this one too, right, if they wanted to. All right, here we go. Brown skin is a punishment for disobeying God. Mormons. <laughs> that sounds like Mormons. Mormons, Mormons like absolutely Mormons. right. Boy, Haley is winning the, the, the religious yeah. contest here. Okay. He's really religious. <laughs> a prophet once traveled <laughs> between two cities on a miniature flying horse with the face of a woman and the tail of a peacock. I'm out. <laughs> no. no idea. That's <laughs> I'm okay, out. come on. Think of who would be that whacked out to think this kind of shit, okay? Come on. <laughs> oh, the satanic cult. No, that's not one of the no. answers, Pearly. It's the Muslims. Okay. The Holy Anything One forbids Muslim? a cat or a dog receiving a blood transfusion and forbids blood meal being used as garden fertilizer. That would be the uh. probably choose. Well, you blame the Jews for everything. Christian scientists. Christian scientists. Christian scientists. Yeah, yes, Christian scientists. Yes. Right. Well, because they, the they don't because they don't believe um, right. the animals have any souls. Here's oh. another one. Right. Jews don't use blood. Sacred underwear protects believers from spiritual Mormons. contamination and, according to some adherents, from fire and speeding bullets. <laughs> don't tell That's me. That's Mormon. Mormon. <laughs> I learned all about that one when what's his name was running from. They made fun of them. In the, Who do you think it um, is? It's Mormon. It's Mormon. Mormon. Yes, you got it right. How do you know the, all the Mormon stuff? Wow. Yeah. We saw the, uh, who ran for president in 2012? I forget. The, the Republican guy. When certain rites are performed beforehand, bread turns into human flesh after it's swallowed. Catholic. Catholic. <laughs> Catholic. It's a Catholic. Isn't that, yeah, Catholic. Yeah, you got it. Exactly. Very good. All right. Invisible supernatural beings reveal themselves in mundane objects like oozing paint or cooking food. That's everybody. <laughs> you got it, Catholics. Yeah, look, we're getting down to these religions now. <laughs> 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 I 
is everybody. Huh? Yeah, but the so, vote here. So far, the cra- Catholics are the craziest, right? I think they're all okay. pretty crazy. In the end, in the end of times, the Holy One is cho- cho- the chosen people will be gathered together in Jackson County, Missouri. <laughs> Jackson County? Oh, that's kind of even. Can you so imagine? The Angelicans <laughs> think that they have to go to Israel because otherwise. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Okay. It's probably the Mormons. I'm, oh, I'm. Got Believers can drink poison or get bit by snakes without being harmed. That's the snake oh, charmers. That's the evangelical cure. You got it. They do yeah. that. The snake charmers. Go. S- sprinkling water on a newborn, if done correctly, can keep the baby from Catholic, from eons Catholic. of suffering. Okay. Yeah. Right. Catholic, it's baptism. Okay, here we go. Let's see if you got this one. This this baptism. one's a good one. You ready? Waving a chicken over your head can take away your sins. Evangelical. <laughs> Waving a chicken Jews. over your head. Jews. Who else That's is using chickens for all sorts of things? Come on. <laughs> Us. Yeah, I would have guessed uh, Catholic. Oh, orchid. <laughs> Sorry. I'm heading over to Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can you see? Can you see that going to Kentucky Fried Chicken and then waving them over your head? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's the right budget back. version of the scapegoat, right? You're too cheap to send a goat out. You use a chicken. A holy one climbed a mountain and could see the whole earth from the mountain peak. Moses. That's both, yeah, both Christ, uh, evangelicals and Catholics, exactly. All right. Putting a dirty milk glass and a plate from a roast beef sandwich in the same dishwasher can contaminate your soul. Jewish. Jewish. All right. All right. Actually, so, wait, wait, let me reiterate that. Orthodox Jew. Okay. Oh, there will be an afterlife in which exactly 144,000 uh, people get to live eternally in paradise. Evangelical. No, Jehovah Witnesses. Nope. You, Jehovah's. You have one day. Oh. If That's they believe that shit, got... why were they knocking on doors and now they're no longer knocking, right? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it's full. Right. They got enough. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> Here's one for you. Let's see if you get this one. Each human being contains many alien spirits that were trapped in volcanoes by hydrogen bombs. Oh, that's bombs. Scientology. <laughs> you got it. Wow, we got some. Scientology. All right. <laughs> Come on, that's Last too but obvious. Not least, this is a, a supernatural audience. being. A supernatural being cares Mom. tremendously with what you do with your penis. What? <laughs> that's all of them. <laughs> That's all of them. (laughs) Catboy, you got it right. It's all of them. Oh, God. Goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Got some. Yep. And and from the white trash cooking recipes comes cold collard sandwich. Collards uh, prepared an ice cold. After they're prepared, ice cold leftovers, light bread, and a generous helping of blue plate, plate mayonnaise. Add some pepper, vinegar, and a southern delicacy. Is ready oh, to eat. bad kitty. Oh, one of my favorite some, recipes. What? It needs some chitlins. Chitlins? No, the, the, right, one of my favorite here, recipes it's from, from that. Dinner, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. One of my favorite recipes from that cookbook was <laughs> actually <laughs> two doing? pieces of white bread, mayonnaise. And, and, and yeah, yeah. potato chips. You put the potato chips in the center, press it oh, down, no. and you've got yourself a white trash sandwich. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for God, the peanut butter. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, mm. You got the finger-licking peanut butter. You forgot it. Oh, yeah, the fe- yeah, exactly. <laughs> so... So you guys all know what all these different LOL and all that. I'm going to test you on a couple. We'll see if you can get it. some of the ones you may or may not know. Let's all see right. if you know what YRG means. Is this in what context, though? Is this a religious question? No, th- we left religion. Religion's mm-hmm. gone. It's out of here. Okay? No, Catboy, wake up. <laughs> you are good. Oh, are... Okay. You are good. Okay. You are God. You are good. All right, well, now, I'll, all right, all right. This one's easy. If you don't get this, you're out of here. TTYL. Talk to you later. Ta-ta for, to talk to you later. TTFN. TAFN. 
T A F N. T A F N. T A F N. What? That's all for now. Very good. Okay. Curly exactly. All right. S O Z. Never saw that one. Right. Got it. Very good. Oh, look, we got a lot of people doing good stuff here. S I T D. And don't tell me that's a disease. S I T D. S I T D. No, that's my ex husband's disease, definitely. Still in the dark? Still in the dark. Oh, God. I'll tell you, after I got divorced, someone asked me once, they said, have you been checked for STDs? And I said, is that the stuff you put in your car? You know, you pour in the tank. Now, the STDs of Second Life for guys happens to be carpal tunnel syndrome. But I'm fine with my rim shot. But I'm bum ping. P R W. Let's see how many people. Yeah, what is P R W? P R. Oh. Oh, I heard this one before. On the stock exchange. Par parents are watching. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's not what that. I was thinking at all. P C M. <laughs> Please call me. Oh, all right. All right, here's one. You should all get this one. O W T T E. Oh. Or words to that effect. Now, these are, you know, you guys are just not up on all the stuff. You got to get this together, okay? N W O. Oh, that's my favorite wrestling federation. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't watch them back in the 80s? NWO, no way out. Uh. <laughs> okay. MYOB instead of BYOB. Exactly. Yeah. Don't we have got that. Right. All right. MTFBWU. <laughs> what the hell? Too many letters. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Fran. Too many letters. <laughs> you are phonetically challenged. Yeah. May the force be with you. Oh, oh God, I should no. thought I'd gotten that. Oh. 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 M-I-R-L. And don't think it's M-R-I. M-I-R-L. Do you guys remember M-R-I? Or was it M-I-R? Which one was it we used to chat in way back when in the 1200 board days? I thought it was I-M-V-U. IMVU, what does that mean? <laughs> no, IMVU. Oh, that's um uh, that's a that's that other place that imitates Second <laughs> Life, but it's full I'm of anime it. characters. I am L T H O. This this feels like a school <laughs> test. L T H O. We're almost done, relax. In oh, my less than now. humble opinion. Relax, relax, oh. relax. <laughs> H H I S. Only three more. Hanging my head in shame. Oh. Mm. Uh, well, that's what we're all doing right now for not knowing that. And last but not least, we'll go with C W O T. It almost sounds naughty. Complete waste of time. <laughs> oh, okay. That's. <laughs> That's yeah. right. That's coming yeah. soon, yeah. That's our new language. T T L K M Y. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, now M -O -U -N -C. just for fun. And don't forget we got Sassy Knightley coming up uh in forty five yeah. minutes and, and since we don't have Doc Run, you have to go through a lot more of this crap with me, but let's go through this. Here are some of the most uh stupidest recipes that anybody's ever come up with, okay? This one is called Easy Squeeze Honey Butter. One bottle of squeezed margarine and a quarter of a cup of honey. <laughs> the heart attack, in a, heart attack in a can or something? Or? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> these are people who put these recipes up for you to read. How about, How about a, a bottle? Yeah. How about a microwave aromatherapy hot towel? Two <laughs> sprigs of rosemary and four white washcloths. Man, that sounds like rice in a washcloth and lavender. 
<laughs> Gosh. Somebody posted up uh, how to dip potato chips in melted chocolate. <laughs> what is it? And then fry them. Yeah. These oh, are the people, by the way, that you do not. They don't play Second Life. <laughs> Thank God. Hey, deep-fried Twinkies are good. All right, here's all one that. for you. Why not cram all your leftovers into an ice cream cone? Because who needs dignity? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a you got a cone, and then you cram into it stuffing, turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, cranberry sauce, and pistachio nuts. <laughs> nope, just have a kid. You lose all your dignity right there. Okay. Oh, uh, the KFC bowl. <laughs> Remember the KFC bowl, the edible bowl. Just take everything and stuff it in a bowl, and then eat. Somebody the bowl. actually put up, posted this for a recipe: how to add butter to peas. <laughs> I mean, come on, is this really? Well, necessary? you know, you need the advice on because they roll in. all over the place. You got. I you know, want to know there's... how many hours Lauren spends looking up all this stuff. <laughs> How to heat a ham. And I've got to tell you a true story of that. This is how to heat a ham, okay? And this ham steaks. But I will tell you this. Way back in the early days of my life, we went out with uh, six of us to the, the gal I was dating, her family's country home. And we got there, and uh, my friend and I, we had well, – actually, it was five of us, three girls, two boys. Okay, that's what it was. So we got there, and uh, apparently the beds and things had to be done. So we, the two of us guys, said, you know, okay, well, we can cook the ham. I said, I know how to do this. I, I know how to cook. It's no big deal. So they went upstairs. I turned the oven on because the can of ham said heat oven to 350. That wasn't that hard, right? And then it said heat and serve. So I put the whole can and the ham right in the oven at 350. And about 45 minutes later, you heard boom, and the damn thing blew off the oven door, <laughs> flew across, dented the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Did they get that on that tape? Was the beginning of your illustrious cooking career. <laughs> oh yeah, no ain't place life to go great. but up. Yep. So. No, seriously yeah. though, there there are folks that never got in the kitchen. My brothers never got in the kitchen. He hasn't. How, They're just so no, no. Now they have. You, okay. You, you got to look up the list of most disgusting things people do at spam. Oh really? Ooh, I yeah, I'm gonna skip that. People I don't know. Spam's we'll disgusting all Does by itself. Does anybody else have a, something they really like spam? Yes, yes, and people, certain people in Asia do too. Mm -hmm. And in Hawaii. Spam burger? Yeah. It's big in Hawaii, I'm isn't sick it? Already. Spam. That's Somebody enough spam. spam. Stop with the spam. <laughs> now, tell us. Says Don't it's tell disgusting, us. But have you ever tasted it? All these people who say it's disgusting. Yes. It well, my mother used to taste it. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> tastes like chicken. <laughs> it tastes like ground it tastes processed like baby ham. food, actually. <laughs> All right. Here's a true story. William, who teaches AP government at Santa Fe High School, in one of the classes, they were discussing the qualifications of the President of the United States. They are pretty simple. The candidate must be a natural-born citizen and at least 35 years of age. One girl in the class immediately started complaining about how unfair the requirements to be a natural-born citizen was, and in short, her opinion was that this requirement prevented many capable individuals from becoming President. The teacher in the class were just taking it in and letting her rant, but everyone's jaw hit the floor when she wrapped up her argument by stating, what makes a natural-born citizen any more qualified to lead this country than one born by C-section? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, Art Linkletter used to do this with children, used to get them to ask him questions. Now, nobody here knows who Art Linkletter was, but... Uh, <clears throat> I, yeah. I remember him. Oh, I do. Okay. This is the right and audience over class here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Forgot how many old people are here. Oh, well, I'm not yeah. old. I'm just experienced. She was standing in the kitchen preparing to boil eggs for breakfast, wearing only a T-shirt that she normally slept in. 
As I walked in almost awake, she turned and said softly, you've got to make love to me at this very moment. My eyes lit up and I thought, I'm either still dreaming or this is going to be my lucky day. Not wanting to lose the moment, I embraced her and gave it my all right there on the kitchen table. Afterwards, she said thanks and returned to the stove, her T-shirt still around her neck. A little puzzle, I asked, what's that all about? She explained, the egg timer is broken. Whatever gender you like to tell the joke. By the way, so, I'd like uh, to see your G string. You can, yes, I know you can. That's why I wear this dress that's extra large, so you don't see the freaking solar system or whatever it gets when you wear those <laughs> textures. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's the Big Bang Theory. So, <laughs> so anyhow. Two rocks colliding. Right. So I'm going to tell it from this perspective. So this woman is at this uh, cemetery, and she's just crying, crying over this grave. And this other woman sees her and comes up to her to try to console her. And she says, oh, my dear, what happened? Did your mother die? And she goes, no. Well, well, your father? And she goes, no, no, he didn't die. Well, are these your children buried here? And she goes, no. Well, what, what, why are you crying? She says, oh, <coughs> this is my husband's first wife's grave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, somebody played at that. <laughs> okay. The second life. What? ba da da bum Yeah, let's bring up uh, Catboy. You ready to get up All here? All right. Hey, right. yeah, here we go. Hey, 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 by the way, um, these are the shoes that Lauren got me. Did I? Oh, I got me these shoes. Oh, I got an outfit to go with them. But uh, you were talking about all this, uh, all this stuff about um, the the. You reminded me of something that happened on the View recently. We were talking about all this religion stuff, and there was a fight that broke out between Whoopi Goldberg and Jenny McCarthy. Uh huh. Did I miss something? Was that the joke? Oh. Well, what happened? <laughs> so bad. Yeah, you missed the punchline. I'm... Oh. But I'm changed. But what happened was, is the um, Bo Boopy Goldberg said, you tried to get me to a pool party. It turned out to be a baptism. And Jenny McCarthy said, well, excuse me for trying to sneak you into heaven. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Anyway, we're going over these abbreviations. I've been running into this one an awful lot. It's on Twitter. It's on Reddit. It's everywhere. And I'd be, I would laugh my ass off if anybody got this. Does anyone know what that one means? Just typed it in. MLP. It's MLPFIM. It's everywhere these days. MLP. My Lindens. No, what? MLP. Oh, it's on Reddit. MLP, it's on Reddit and it's on yeah on on all the group stuff and it's on Twitter. It's on Twitter a lot. Okay, it's My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Oh no! Damn, I know. Oh Damn. wow! <laughs> okay. Damn bronies are everywhere these days, huh? Okay, let's start off with the news. In the news. Did anybody hear, in Hawaii, a teenage boy was found stowed away in an airplane where he hid in the wheel well. Yes. And we heard about that one. Okay, now you know where I'm where everyone's going to go with this joke, right? They're going to say, "Oh, this is an excellent opportunity to make fun of how bad it is to fly coach." You know. <laughs> like there may have been no oxygen and it was 40 below zero, but at least he had a window seat or something like that. <laughs> but but instead what I would rather make fun of is this. While you're standing in line for two to four hours going through security and waiting to have your belongings, your body, and your civil rights violated in that order, some teenager managed to bypass all of that without even paying. So give that a thought. That's the real joke is airport security. I mean, do you think some jihadi doing the exact same thing but with 50 pounds of C4 strapped around his chest is going to care whether or not he gets an in-flight meal before he dies? It's like, yeah. 
Yeah. That's premium <laughs> seating because, you know, <laughs> actually that's more like business class because you can lie back and sleep the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> well, they said he was unconscious. <laughs> so, yeah, he got to sleep through his whole flight. Anyway, okay, um, what I've been up to for the past week, is anyone, like, you're, you imagine you're all well out of winter, except for up here. Um, everything was still frozen over up until, like, a couple of days ago. No, yeah, no, but no, literally. No, there was frost and snow on the ground. Oh, gosh. I mean, frost this is a winter snow that, on the ground. This is a winter that does not want to let go, is it? I mean, it's, it's, it's not really like a, a person at a party who doesn't know when to leave. It's more like someone who decided to become a squatter. It's like, I demand to stay. But anyway, the, my lawn's finally thawed out I'm from several inches of ice, and I had to go out and rake up all the dead leaves that I was too lazy to pick up in the fall. <laughs> um, but don't you love it when, when winter is here? You're smack in the middle of winter, and you have this lovely attitude that snow erases everything. That if it's out there, it's gone. And then when spring comes around, you've got like five months of dog poo to pick up. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Now, do you, Yeah. Oh, gosh. Everything's preserved. It's still out there. Now, do you have those paper bags you're supposed to fill your lawn clippings with? Did anyone else do that? We have that here. But it's it's like you don't put your lawn clippings in a normal garbage. You put it in because it's supposed to go somewhere where they have, like, natural We have the combo natural barrel. Stuff. We have the yeah, okay. Barrel. Yeah. Okay, so we have the paper. We, up here we have the paper bags, and they hold about 80 pounds worth of stuff. I filled 12 of those bags today full of dead grass, leaves, and broken branches caused by all the ice storms that we had over the winter. And dog yeah. poo. I went through that and dog poo, so which I hope that counts as fertilizer. Do you know if that counts as like lawn stuff? Oh, yes, it definitely counts. Good. All right. Because uh, I'm so tired of, seriously, I want a <laughs> refund of my gym membership because I don't see any point in going now. I mean, I filled my car. Well, no, seriously, I I um I filled my car with a, with twelve of these bags, eighty pounds each. It's around a thousand pounds worth of this stuff. And then I found out today, today's Earth Day, everyone. Let's try not to fill up the landfills. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, a little too late for that. No, you got to take that down to the city dump. Oh, twelve see, bags. There's nothing. There's there's nothing around here. It's going to pick up twelve bags of stuff. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, what else did I do? Last week I bought a brand new barbecue, and I really fought buying a new one for the longest time because my old one was not a Mickey Mouse barbecue. It was a pretty big barbecue. All right, and but it was really worn out. I mean, after 14 years of consistent use, it was so filthy. I didn't even bother using propane to cook with it anymore. I just threw a match under the grease and set it on fire. All right. <laughs> It was that bad. But the, but the most shocking thing about when you get a brand new barbecue is how quickly it winds up looking like an... Oop. And uh, that bar. was the punchline. Yeah, oh. don't, <laughs> no, I mean, last time I bought a product that looked this worn out after such little use, I was driving a Ford. Uh, okay. By the way, did you know that underneath all that Boston Strong paraphernalia yesterday, there was an actually a marathon happening? Did anyone catch that? Oh, I had no idea. They, yeah, there was a marathon going on yesterday, and the fans at the very end, they were holding up a sign that said, hurry up, the Kenyans are drinking all your beer. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, America, by the way. That for the first time in First time. 30. Yeah. Was that the female runner that was in the news last week? Because I was rooting for her, hopefully. Was it the, the lady? The male and the female. No, the male and the female. Okay. Both of them. Well, that's good news. I hope that, that I hope it's a... Was that the lady that actually lived in Boston? Because she was on CNN last week. I don't I know. I kind of rooting for her. No, okay, I don't, you don't know. know. Okay. And I don't care. <laughs> okay. That's IDC. <laughs> IDC. <laughs> don't, don't know. I don't care. That's all you said. TLDR, too long, didn't read. But um, I want to talk about here. Uh, have you noticed that we've been missing a lot of comedians lately? Anyone else notice this? A lot of comedians. Lawrence is losing comedians faster than broadcast networks are failing at pi on their pilot seasons. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bam. No. Oh. No. oh. Well, not that bad. I think it's because most of them left to form their own late night talk shows. I mean, can you imagine Doc Run or Bubble Pop with their own talk show? 
You mean Bubble Pop is saying, I understand you brought a clip, but I want to know what your favorite brand of LSD is. And Doc's going to be having a hell of a time with this lightning round without getting sued by the other networks. I mean, you might yeah. laugh at that, but Jimmy Kimmel turned up at John Tosh's door with a baseball bat, so don't laugh. But uh, anyway, um, what was I getting into? Oh, I have an idea to bring them back. One thing, I stopped wearing sh skirts that are too short. <laughs> Look at that. I'll work on my elocution. And we could do a Thousand Linden giveaway to an audience member who shows up with the most awesome pair of giant mesh Lola boobs. You think that'll bring back Doc Ryan? Oh, yeah. Uh, you never know. It could work. Who could work? Okay. In Hollywood, there's a man suing X-Men director Brian Singer for sexual abuse, and he's now suing three other major Hollywood producers for the exact same thing. This has got to be the unluckiest person in the whole world. I mean... Several of the richest and most powerful figures in Hollywood just happen to find him and molest him. I can't even get a hold of these guys to pitch a pilot episode to Fox News. <laughs> I mean, what are the odds? Good thing he just happened to find a high-profile attorney just before the statute of limitations ran out. That was luck, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, government research shows that women divorce men after they lose their jobs. I think whoever paid for this commission for these studies is trying to save their marriage. If you think about it, because that's how they make their money. Okay, that's all I have for tonight, everyone. Sorry I didn't. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Thank you so much. Great. So I got 30 more minutes of bullshit that I got to do. Here. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> fabulous, okay? All right, everybody, get out your Candy Crush and let's start playing that for 20 minutes, huh? Anybody <laughs> doing Candy Crush? Anybody? Oh, oh I don't. No. They they need I mean, more money. <laughs> I, you know, you know, it's funny. What's funny is that there's actually Candy Crush cheat sheets. You can actually go and find a cheat sheet. What? Candy Crush. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Pretty tough. You got to pay for that, right? It's just another way to get money out of you. Is that yeah. an adult game? I just can't wait. You know, they could have like for first grade on, cheat please. sheets for the one by one table. <laughs> <laughs> Haley, my mom plays that game. Everyone it's who has a tablet. Cliff Notes, Lauren. Yeah. No, that's later. It's Cliff Notes. Cheat sheets. Cheat hey. sheets. They're very different than Cliff Notes. Anybody here used to write the answers down in the hand in ballpoint ink, hoping that you'd be able oh. to then figure out? What? No? I was, a, I was a nerd. I figured out how to program the answers into my calculator. Because I had... <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! That was a nice way to cheat. Yeah, they, they did away with that. You can tell. That, that, that was definitely... Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Not okay. not allowed. So anyhow, <laughs> I'm just reading this, and it says, "Relay Weekend, we need your input." It says, "Hello, everyone. We are looking for suggestions for this year's lap themes. Please read the attached note card on how you can help." <laughs> we already uh, so, we handed in our suggestions we, last year, didn't we? We, we could we could think of some really funny lap themes. <laughs> this All right. Year. They won't do them, but we could think of them. <laughs> so is your How about Hanna Barbera's Wacky Races? That funny cartoon from back in the seventies. You remember that? No one remembers that. You have no idea what I'm talking about. No, that only played in Canada. The rest of us oh, didn't bother okay. with it. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, wouldn't it be great to be like this? Yeah. How many of you have ever been up like at three o'clock in the morning and watching television? Anybody ever do that? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. convinced that there you're are describing people that watch tonight. TV. Yeah, there are people that watch TV from like two a.m. Yeah, to yeah, early. and and those people have different shit than the rest of us have in their houses, you know, because the ads at three a.m. to five a.m. have different. Stuff. You can tell. Oh, so yeah, you, can... not, you don't sleep at night, huh? Yeah, it's <laughs> like they have a house full of knives. You know, they sell knives on the uh, shopping channel. That. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, against that was against knife. Against oh, knife. So Lots scientists classes. were preparing an experiment to ask the ultimate question. They'd worked for months gathering one of each, every computer that was built. And finally, the big day was at hand, and the computers were all linked together, and they asked the question, is there a god? Suddenly, there was a loud crash and a brilliant explosion of silicon plastic. The computers fused into what appeared to scientists to be one large computer in place of many smaller ones. And one of the scientists raced to the printer and, it, and finally to the output, and the answer was, there is now. <laughs> oh, I was, I was waiting to see if the answer was going to be 42. 
<laughs> Anyone get that one? Yeah. Yeah. The guy put in the uh, classifieds. Wife wanted. Next day received a hundred letters. They all said the same thing. You're gonna have mine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> guy goes to psychiatrist. Doc, I'm having these alternating recurring dreams. First, I'm a teepee. Then I'm a wigwam. Then I'm a teepee. Then I'm a wigwam. It's driving me crazy. What's wrong with me? Doctor replied, "It's very simple. You're too tense." Uh, 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 come on, guys. Come on. Uh, I'm a TP. I'm a wink. <laughs> oh, God. I, we, should, we should do a show from Orientation Island. Does that still exist? Is there really an Orientation Island? Does anybody know? Well, make another album. Find out. <laughs> so there is an Orientation it. Island. What do they yeah. make you do now when you come in? You know, like pray to Philip Linden or something? <laughs> Help Island. You ever go to Help Island? There's nobody Lynch. there on Help Island. There's nobody there. And I remember when voice, when they first allowed you to morph voice, they had an island where you could go and try out morphed voices, you know? Oh, that's also, right. Yeah, I did try that. Yeah. <clears throat> you just made an avatar for your kid? I mean, your Second Life kid or your real kid? <laughs> uh, Ms. Ann Valentine. Your real life kid. How old is your real life kid? <laughs> 42. Oh. <laughs> He should be able to figure out that stuff for himself by now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went to Help Island one time. Yeah, I found well, Lyndon there. I said to him, can you show me which way to World of Warcraft? <laughs> <laughs> the boss I want to level up that's funny <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah you know I you know you talk about airplanes and all the rest of it you know in, in, in the old days you they used to give you a ticket you went now you print your now you don't even print your ticket you put it on your mobile phone you know mm -hmm. there's no picture no nothing how do they know it's you, you know, I, I can go you to Photoshop and get you a ticket to Paris it'll cost you nothing yeah I mean <laughs> it's just ridiculous the whole thing uh, okay, somebody's got their royal typewriter out, and it's working just fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anybody go out on a date in first life, and when it came time to kiss, look around for the blue or the pink pose book? <laughs> <laughs> I always go for the pink one. A new young bride. A blonde bride calls her mother in tears. She soon she sobbed. Robert doesn't appreciate what I do for him. Now, now, her mother comforted. I'm sure it was all just a misunderstanding. No, mother, you don't understand. I bought a frozen turkey roll, and he yelled and screamed at me about the price. Well, the nerve of that lousy cheapskate, said her mother. Those turkey rolls are only a few dollars. No, mother, it wasn't the price of the turkey. It was the airplane ticket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, we want them all to be good jokes. That's it. That's it. I know. We got to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Orientation Island. Here, here's the Orientation Island prayer, in case you don't know it. Now I lay me down to rest and hope to pass the second life test. If I should crash before I finish, that's one less ridiculous test with which I've been punished. <laughs> 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 I got frozen turkey. <laughs> I use it for bowling. Yeah, yeah it's unbelievable. Those, those frozen turkeys... They are really frozen. I don't know where they freeze them like that. But, you know, I take mine out a year in advance and finally warm it up. Actually, I think, I think, I think Orchid once defrosted a turkey somehow pretty wrong or something, if I remember correctly, way back when. Is that correct, Orchid? You left it in a tub of water for like a week? Oh. You can a tub tell of when they're water? not here anymore. They just disappear, huh? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. On one. I have so much blonde hair in Second Life that I went searching for the Nordic Sim where they're all bald for giving up their hair <laughs> for me. <right? laughs> I changed my will in First Life, by the way. I want you to know. I left my kids all my transfer stuff. I gave my daughter my clothes and my hair and my son animations and gestures. <laughs> <laughs> I took pictures out of Second Life, slipped them into the First Life album. I figured, hey, a couple generations. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 
And you know what's amazing? They have a virginity test in Second Life. Don't you love that? A virginity <laughs> test. <in Second> Life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a smear no, test. <laughs> no, what I like is better. You can get re-virginized. You can, yes, you can get re-virginized. Oh, in real life. Isn't that right? Yes, you're absolutely right. Can't you? Real life. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I, I guess you can. Get, Who would want to do that? I don't know. Maybe a Muslim woman. You never know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Remember the old old joke. This is one of the first jokes about from Second Life. How many Lindens does it take to change a light bulb? Please, everyone, be patient. We're doing the best we can. It's not fun for us no. either. Check the blog for updates. In the meantime, here's our <laughs> and super fun things to do in the dark. <laughs> That's probably the oldest joke from That's Second That's a great Life. one. <laughs> it is really good. Uh, there's another one I like. We are continuing to address the situation as quickly as possible. At this time, things are looking promising, and we foresee a bright future very soon. Please remain patient and accept our apology. Again, we are working hard to resolve the situation. Thank you. Remember that? <laughs> Remember when they used to ask you, you know, you know, you get a dark screen before you came in. Uh, how can we make Second Life better? You know, they leave yes. that. I that, type that in. That was the brilliant mind of their legal team. Right. I type in, leave me the fuck alone and let me get in here, you know. Stop bothering me. <laughs> I got a show to go to. <laughs> Answer your questions. And I found a Fidel Castro here in Second Life. Absolutely. You can look him up. He looks like Fidel. He's got cigars. He's got the whole picture. You can do the profile. Guess what? I found him sailing in Nantucket Harbor in Second Life. <laughs> 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 that was great. Did he have the Che Guevara uh, T-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. Take a look at his picture. It's great. By the way, everybody, i got to tell you ahead of time. Uh, first, we have Sassy Knightley coming up in about 15 minutes, but also Woo! next week is a big week. Invite everybody. Eva Moon is going to do a special performance. This yes. is brand new. It's absolutely stunning. I've seen it in real life. You guys are in store for a treat. You you will Woo-hoo. not believe. And and I'm just and do bring Eva, as many Eva. Lindens as you can because we're hoping to raise at least 1,800 Lindens, which we figure is the total amount of money necessary to finally <laughs> finally cure cancer. So uh, you can okay. put money in this little kiosk right next to. <laughs> Yeah, you remember the old days when you used to, you know, fly, teleport from one place to another, and you land there with hair in your crotch and a shoe too. The most yep. shocking thing was when it wasn't your hair and wasn't your shoe. <laughs> 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 that happened. It would switch back to your default avatar, and you would get your your hair would be kicked off, and you'd have Laura. Yeah. The, oh, what was the girl's name? You you've been Ruth. Ruth's Ruth, hair. Ruth. 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 Yes, I was never canned. I was never canned. I was always Ruth. Yeah, I've they all all the guys came in as canned. as Ruth, right? It was all Ruth. Yeah. <laughs> Here are the toughest questions women ask. Okay, you ready for this? The five toughest questions women ask. Five things that <clears throat> ready. The five questions are one: What are you thinking? <laughs> Two: Do you love me? Three, do I look fat? Four, do you think she is prettier than me? Five, what would you do if I died? <laughs> These are the five uh, toughest questions. Uh, Guys, work on this. A, it's easy for me. I'm single. What makes these questions so bad is everyone is guaranteed to explode in a major argument and or divorce if not answered properly, which is dishonestly. For example, what are you thinking? The proper answer to this question, of course, is I'm sorry. I've been pensive, dear. I was just reflecting on what a warm, wonderful, caring, thoughtful, intelligent, beautiful woman you are. <laughs> what a lucky guy I am to have met you. <laughs> Obviously, this statement bears no resemblance whatever to the guy I was really thinking at the time, which most likely was baseball, football, how fat you are, how much prettier she is than you are, how he would spend the insurance money if you died. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just uh-huh. me. Here's another one that there's no right answer but many wrong answers. <laughs> Do you love me? The correct answer to this is yes. For those guys who feel the need to be elaborate, you may answer yes, dear. Wrong answers include I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see somebody try that just once. 
would yeah, it make you feel better if I said yes? <laughs> <laughs> that depends on what you mean by love. That that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Oh my god. Do, does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> Who me? <laughs> talking to me? Okay. You talking to Do me? Do I look fat? The correct male response to this question is confidentially and emphatically state, no, of course not, and then quickly leave the room. Wrong answers include, I wouldn't call you fat, but I wouldn't call you thin either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to what? <laughs> That's just... Oh, no. oh, A wrong, little extra wrong. weight looks good on you. <laughs> oh, that, you think that's going in the right direction, but no. I've seen no. fatter. I'm so sorry, I'm stupid. <laughs> Could you repeat the question? I was thinking about your insurance policy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think she's prettier than me? The she in this question could be an ex-girlfriend. Passerby you were staring at so hard that you almost caused a traffic accident or an actress in a movie you just saw. In the, any case, the correct response is no. You are much prettier. Wrong answers include not prettier, just pretty in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how one goes about rating such things. <laughs> she reminds me of her mother. Yeah. Like, did you yes, I bet you have a better women? personality. Uh. Only in the sense that she's younger and thinner. <laughs> Could you repeat the question? I was thinking about your insurance policy. <laughs> <laughs> Last, what would you do if I died? What? I'm sorry, what? I said, oh, wow, I'm going to look like that in 50 years. Yeah. What would you do if I died? Correct answer. Dearest love, in the event of your untimely demise, life would cease to have meaning for me, and I would force myself, I would force hurl myself under the front tires of the first domino pizza truck that came my way. <laughs> this may be the stupidest question of the lot, as is illustrated by the following stupid joke. Dear, said the wife, what would you do if I died? Well, dear, I would be extremely upset, said the husband. Why do you ask such a question? Would you remarry? The wife asked. No, of course not, dear, said the husband. Don't you like being married, said the wife. Of course I do, dear, he said. Then why wouldn't you remarry? All right, said the husband. I remarry. You would, said the wife, looking vaguely hurt. Yes, said the husband. Would you sleep with her in our bed, said the wife after a long pause. Well, yes, I suppose I would, replied the husband. I see, said the wife indignantly. And would you let her wear my old clothes? I suppose if she wanted to, said the husband. Really, said the wife icily. And would you take down the picture of me and replace them with pictures of her? Yes, I think that would be appropriate, wouldn't don't you? Is that so, said the wife, leaping to her feet. And I suppose you'd let her play with my golf clubs, too. Of course not, dear, said the husband. She's left-handed. Uh <laughs> 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 it's an old joke. You've all heard it before, but what the heck, huh? Everybody having fun? Yes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is better than last week, isn't it? <laughs> Much better, yay! That's because you were asleep. Here's one. The granny who wanted to join the Hell's Angels. I've told this before, so if some of you know it, some don't. Little old lady decides to join the Hell's Bikers, okay, the Hell's Angels. One day she goes up, knocks on the clubhouse door, and a big, hairy, bearded biker with tattoos all over his arms answers. And she boldly proclaims, I want to join your club. The guy's amused and decides to humor her a bit, so he says she needs to meet certain biker requirements in order to join. The biker asks, do you have a motorcycle? The good old lady replies, yep, my bike's parked right over there and points to a flame black Harley chopper in the driveway. The biker asks, do you drink? The old lady replies, yep, like a fish, I'll drink any man in your club under the table. The biker then asks, do you smoke? The old lady replies, yep, smoke like a chimney. Four packs of cigarettes a day, three joints a day, and a couple of cigars in the evening while I'm shooting pool. The <laughs> biker is very impressed and asks, you sound like one bad mama. Tell me, have you ever been picked up by the fuzz? The old lady thinks a minute and says, nope, but I've been swung around by my nipples a few times, and I kind of liked it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 
by the way, there is actually, there's all these how-tos that you can find uh, in First Life if you Google things. And how to use a condom. Can you believe that? That's it. Putting the condom on, wait until the penis gets hard. Can you believe that somebody had to figure that out? I mean, please. <laughs> I'm not going to bother you with the rest of the stuff because it's really ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, that's life in it all. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. You know, a clear conscience is actually a sign of a bad memory. You know that, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, I, anybody go out and see some of the furries lately? I'm telling you, they're shedding now. It's uh, spring. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it looks oh, like the floor God. of a barber shop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so... <laughs> So anybody have any friends that uh, got pregnant in Second Life and have babies? Now, now wait a minute. Ten, ten Dahlia, how many kids do you now have in Second Life? How many? Like four or six? Four. Four kids. And uh, what are their names? They're very nice. So you have three girls and one boy? Boys, those weddings are going to cost you in Second Life. Holy moly, oh, man. man. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> I'm looking at a broke man. You have two? Yeah. Yeah. I had one here in Second Life, but she left Second Life. She got bored. <laughs> I don't know where she's gone. <laughs> oh, actually, my male avatar got custody of his, his illegitimate um, prim baby. No shit. <laughs> 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 you have to go to small claims court, or did you find it? You're lost and found. Oh, I mean, you gotta look. No, I married a crazy woman, man. I'm telling you, she. We had to have a mediator to work out the custody agreement. <laughs> more, tell us more. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I don't need to do comedy. Come on, Ann, tell us the rest. <laughs> You she had says, to go to well, a mediator? Yeah, she goes, well, if I see you, she goes, I'm going to have these feelings, so, you know, we can't be alone together. <laughs> she got a restraining order in Second Life. <laughs> oh, she's like, I love you so much, but it's oh, just she... wrong what I'm doing. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's my religious affiliations. All right, we which one judged. was that? <laughs> Evangelical Christianity, <laughs> which one of those? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get Judge Judy in Second Life. There was, there was a divorce attorney here in Second Life that if you went to his there place. There is a divorce attorney. He, there are a lot of them, yeah. But one of them had scuba gear in the front of the office in the waiting room. I don't know what that was for. <laughs> 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 Well, yes. Alex's divorce attorney. Yes. Oh, you had yours Scott. and she had hers? You each had yep. one? Yep. <laughs> this is too good to be true. <laughs> Second Life Divorce Court, tell us more. <laughs> if there's a sim out there that's called Divorce Court, I'm going to plot. Uh, yeah. Yep, he had a skydiving tower. He goes, I'm this guy <laughs> Yep, he goes, this is how you fix everything. Climb up the tower, and you push her off the end. Oops, I forgot to parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring Sassy Knightley up here so that she can begin getting ready. Okay, Sassy, get up on the stage. <laughs> I'm going to get off the stage if I can figure out how to do that. And uh, that's that part of it. We have had another Tuesday here. We managed to really rock it up tonight, didn't we? You got to tell people, come on back. Some weeks yeah! There we can hail you away. Woo! Yep. And, uh, yep. Uh, somebody tell, yeah, tell Sassy she can get up here. Okay, uh, Jamie? I, I did. She's she on her way. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I love the divorce court in Second Life. I could just see this argument. How much did it cost you, by the way? Oh, it was free. 
<laughs> Free divorce. <laughs> yeah. I, I applied to legal aid. That's what it was. <laughs> Second life legal aid. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love it. Actually, you know, why not? We have our linen welfare check every week. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, we can't live large on the $300 Linden welfare check, but you know, what the heck? Oh, Woo. yeah. Well, you know, you, you could go to 50, 50 whatever Linden Friday, you know? <clears throat> Linden Friday. Yeah. 50 Linden Friday. You know that. Well, All right. Well, let us Linden know, Jamie, Friday when she's in, in and, um, on. I you know, will. Lauren, there's also, you know, secret Wednesday sale and the secret Thursday sale and the $50 Linden sale and the 69 Linden sale. And then there's the naughty Linden sale. Mm hmm What do they sell there? Naughty Lingerie. Linden. Lingerie. I'll tell you one thing, those hunts. I, how many people have gone on a hunt and, and somebody decides to hide the thing in the most incredibly difficult you can't find a place and when you finally do Bad it's piece. like the worst piece of garbage ever you know yeah uh doc fran always says if they don't put something really good out uh then you, you know why is the store again. doing it you really should put something good out then people come right. back and buy stuff right doc yep many Bingo. of my yeah. stores have come from her them link. yeah many of the hard. stores i if it's what? too hard to find i won't yeah. come back well, Doc you know Frank what? can find things like so fast you can't believe it. She goes over there. She knows right where it is, and she you puts it in the box. Storm, you just do an area <laughs> search and poof, you're there. Yeah, yeah, you can do that, but that's cheating, right? Oh, who's no cheating. Know. Who's gonna know? <laughs> <laughs> the NSA is keeping <laughs> records in here in case you don't know it. They're watching. <laughs> yeah, they're in here. They're here. I'm hey, Lauren, <laughs> she's yep. running whenever you're ready. Okay. All right, everybody, let's come out of voice and let's go on.